According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Native Americans and Alaska Natives are more likely to report that their health is fair or poor compared to other groups, particularly Caucasians. But some leaders and tribes in the Southwest are turning things around by combining the best practices and information from Western medicine with cultural activities and traditions. This week, we begin our series, Reconnecting with a Healthy Lifestyle. In the coming months, we'll explore grassroots health and wellness initiatives in California, Arizona, and right here in New Mexico. But tonight, we start in Los Angeles County, which covers more than 4,000 square miles and has about 10 million residents. Less than 2% of the population is Native American, according to census statistics. That can make it difficult for people to access culturally relevant services. We visit one program that's bringing Native people together in this large urban community. We're not integrating our culture into the Western ways. We're integrating um, the Western ways into our culture. Your mental health is just as important as your spiritual health, as your social health, as your physical health. Dr. Carrie Johnson came to Los Angeles 18 years ago from Canada. The clinical psychologist is Wapaton, Dakota, and now treats people at the United American Indian Involvement, which currently serves nearly 3,000 people in Los Angeles County. When we look at um, problems with our community, high rates of substance abuse, high rates of suicide, um, mental health problems, um, you know, our children in foster care, those have those statistics have just have remained the same or in some instances have become you know even more severe. UAII started in the 1970s to help Native Americans living on Skid Row. They now provide counseling and substance abuse treatment but Dr. Johnson says she and her staff saw that treatment alone wasn't working for many of their clients. They asked what people wanted. Based on that feedback they started offering more cultural activities like drumming, dancing and beating classes and started to see better health outcomes. We know that, for example, child abuse occurs most often when families are isolated. There's a higher incidence of child abuse. So, for example, during the holidays, we started doing so many activities. It used to be a time of the year where we would see so many child abuse reports. Once we started doing this, and really a lot in the last three years, we haven't had one during the holidays our whole Native people that have been traumatized and we're still dealing with what happened. And so we know that from what happened, there was that loss of connection and that loss of pride, that loss of cultural identity. And so by just restoring the culture and the cultural identity and the pride, that's what we're seeing. That's where the healing is taking place. Go to work just like anybody else, uh, make a living. Uh, the hustle and bustle, especially here in California, it's really fast. And so sometimes I need that break to be able to go back to my culture. Being healthy to me is being able to teach the younger ones. If you live healthy, you teach them to be healthy and it continues on to the next generation. They teach their kids. We all need to be grandparents to all the kids here. This isn't just um, a nightly activity for us. I work a full-time job. And I'm still wearing my safety glasses from work. I haven't had a time to shave, but that's part of what I, what our message for our kids is that you know you work, you you, you stay you stay uh, vigilant, and but you don't forget your culture, and you don't forget where you come from. I'll be singing. I'll be helping with the exhibition style dancing. About a little over seven years now, I've been clean from alcohol and substance abuse, and this building is actually where I started out back my venture again. So Yanez is Navajo and was raised in L.A. He was involved in gangs and went through treatment once before, but relapsed. It was when he started drumming and dancing, he was able to achieve and maintain his sobriety. He now mentors other young people who are dealing with similar struggles. I grew up with ceremony, I grew up with teachings, I grew up with songs, I grew up with the dance. So coming back to it gave it a reason to tie it all back together. Because in recovery programs like Narcotics Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, those 12 steps, they're basic foundational teachings that come from our original, original way of life. So it's all connected for me. It's all, it all comes back to that with stepping stone. 
but measuring how well the integration of cultural activities and behavioral health services are working together can be challenging, says Dr. Carrie Johnson. We know our beating, our, all these things are what makes us healthy, but we need to prove it. UAII is currently undergoing a research study to measure the effectiveness of using cultural activities to support substance abuse and behavioral health treatment. Before and after assessments will measure if there are lasting changes in people's health. The research study will also utilize a community research model and involve a community advisory board to build trust and involve Native Americans in the entire research process, measuring what matters to the people they're serving, which goes beyond physical health. We're going to be evaluating how effective it is in decreasing mental health problems, decreasing substance abuse problems, improving social connections, and improving cultural identity. For New Mexico In Focus, I'm Antonia Gonzalez in Los Angeles. Support for Reconnecting with a Healthy Lifestyle comes from USC Annenberg and the Dennis A. Hunt Fund for Health Journalism.